I thank you for your uh, suggestion. I, uh, we will uh, have a look. We will obviously we will know uh, the work you have done uh, at the TEI consortium because you are a center for the scientific community. So it's uh, it's obvious we have to to have a look at that. But uh, I have to clarify that uh, we use the TEI not to store actual data into any kind of repository, but only as a means to connect together two different systems. Yes, yeah, uh, yeah. I understood. The, the, the fact that is that in our systems we have uh, tables and data structures fit to deal with yeah. problems you were talking about. So, uh, the so-called, we were talking about yesterday with uh, Lucia Pinelli about the disiecta membra. Yeah? A manuscript that has been divided and uh, is now in uh, three or four different locations. Uh, we have um, an alias structure to deal with this particular phenomenon and to have some kind of virtual reconstruction of the original manuscript. So, uh, probably we have done uh, a, a part of work using, a common part of work using different systems and maybe using different, slightly different approaches. So, you're right, we have to look at each other to know if something could be shared and if something could be reused by us by you and to, to have the, 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 the work done in a very, in a very co cooperative and collaborative manner. But you, I will stress the point that we have a very complex system to deal. This is only a part of the uh, tables we have to deal with the, uh, the manuscript from various point of view. So we need to reshape maybe uh, our data to be into the XML uh, profile provided, but we have a system that is aware of this kind of problems. From a cost point of view, it is clear that this is only begin. We have to begin somewhere. Uh, and it is a, of course a good begin because we have an interoperability between uh, large, uh, large amount of data because uh, the uh, ERHP 80,000 shelf marks and CISMED 95,000, so on, something like that. Not, of course, not uh, the sum of both, but there are, uh, this is the first, uh, it is the first step, but from the COIS point of view, it has to be presented and discussed in working group two. And uh, in Compostela, and uh, I hope that in Compostela we, we will uh, already go on, on and in, 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 in discussion with, uh, with on both in, in, in at least two directions, with other databases and uh, also other problematics, uh, as you uh, uh, you agree with that, that this is a classical problem which has to be began to realize a uh, first realization and then uh, it was to be discussed uh, and to, to go on. Uh, and to, uh, this, this was our, we call the you, this war was our objective to, to begin with. Uh, May I just uh, add something that I understood in the DRHD, where I was a sister, better uh, than in this matter, of course. I uh, understood that uh, the system of the alias has been uh, developed because it was necessary for the teams of uh, research because while they were working on special parts of collections they, uh, they, were, uh, uh, they had the feeling that it was impossible to go further on without the consciousness that the same manuscript was uh, described or named by different names according to history and uh, uh, the way the manuscript had circulated and so on. So this system, and Cyril uh, will tell me whether I'm wrong, yes, and this has been developed long ago. And so when we had this um, 
evaluation of the medium database, this meant that we had to include uh, in the structure of the database uh, all these alias problems. So we have a, a first uh, basis on which we can work. Of course, it can be uh, better and better. But what looks to be important is to start with a large amount of data, yeah. around 100,000 yeah. chef marks, where we can see how it works. Yeah. And of course, yeah. it can be better and better, but this will be true interoperability. I am for the system of step by step. And I am very happy to see how important is cost action from the point of view of uh, giving the possibility to somebody to go to another place, as it was the case for Emiliano, because thanks to the STMS application, he could go during one week uh, in Orléans and do this work. And I hope that Cyril will do the same if it's possible for him to ask for an application, a very uh, rapid one, in order to prepare something for uh, the uh, meeting in Compostela. I think it's a way for working. Of course, uh, I, I, will, I will be uh, very uh, um, uh, attentive to what you say about uh, uh, what was done during the past 10 years. But really, uh, what is present for me is to see that uh, after Heidelberg, we have made not a small step, a very important step, yeah. in order to, to work together and to check whether our yeah. systems, yeah. thanks to new technology, can really uh, uh, open something. With Valenciennes the other day, all the today, and so on, we will see. How we go on, so we have to go on. Please, and then. I think it's very, I think it's very nice work happening. So it's very nice work happening, that's very fine. But I also think it's very important to listen to them yeah. because they have spent a lot of time to organize in a TI manner what the uh, catalogs looks like and what kind of information you have there and how these, this information is in the, interdependent. And I also think it's important that they have a look at, say, a burger, I mean, library models and all the models for interoperability to see how your system maps to that and see if your, what you have suggested here is a model for such a standard. Because uh, standards are boring, but they are necessary. And I also think that it's very important that we don't, if we can use an existing standard, we should not invent our own. Being done by others, uh, this is a 
pilot project to see how is possible and if it's possible in a very 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 short period of time to have I will, a, a common link and we uh, we we used the the, the shell mark but uh, we may have used some other elements we used the shell mark because we were interested we were interested in how those two repositories of shell marks uh, were developed during the years uh, into two institutes. It's, it's, um, it's uh, not only a matter of technology. It, uh, it was uh, a technological result, but it was not only a technological problem. I mean. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't suggesting necessarily that we should use the TI
We will go that way. Ce ne sont que des mousquetaires, <laughs> mais en deux semaines. <laughs> Only two weeks. Uh, this is uh, that it is very interesting to have all the possible directions. Uh, So we can stop here.